This is reality. We're going to show you what really happens. Good or bad, rain or shine. This is our home. This is Erie. Erie Extreme. I'm Jane. I'm Bob. I'm Kayla. I'm Brian. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Erie Extreme. Extreme. That was cool. good. Hey, Nate. Hey, what's up, Dave? Uh, not much. What's going on? I'm just working on some search engine optimization for one of my clients. Basically, what we're doing is we're making these videos for them. Short snippets about their manufacturing process. And then we bring blog articles around those with highly researched keywords. We're doing 301 redirect internally on their website, building back to these blog articles. It's absolutely insane. They're ranking out of this world. Hey. Yeah, it's huge, man. Nate. Um, yeah, so. We need a challenge. You got a challenge for us? I do have a challenge for you. Uh, this challenge was submitted by Lonnie from Erie, PA, with only a one hour time limit. Lonnie challenges you to find a stranger on the streets of Erie who has never caught a fish before. Then, take him or her fishing to catch their very first fish. To get you one hour to complete this challenge. Tomorrow's free fishing day. Good luck, guys. Yeah. You're going to need it if you choose to accept this one. That'll never happen. We're going to have a problem with this. Gosh, it's Erie, Pennsylvania. Even if you're not a fisherman, you, you, you have fish before. No, you got to find the person that's never caught a fish. Right. You ready to roll? Then you actually have to convince them to go out in a boat with a stranger. Plus, you're going to have to drive them down there, or they're going to have to follow you down. To, yeah, follow, or, or I'm going to have to drive them. That's the hard part. Well, you, you, what I are mean, you saying? It, some, no. People are scared to get in the car with me? I would think so. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of moving parts in this challenge. We are in a huge hurry. We have a Facebook challenge. If you watch the show, you're familiar with it. Okay, so we got two rods rigged. Uh, this is going to be fun. Let's go find some fish. We need to find somebody in downtown area that has never fished before. Take them out on the bay and have them catch their first fish within one hour. Would you guys be interested in doing that? Yeah, but we fished before. Ugh. Tell me you didn't fish. You fished too? <laughs> I fished too. Oh, man. We gotta find somebody. Thank you guys. Yep. Clock starts when we... I say the clock starts when we get someone to say yes. That's fair. I say we do it the hard way. Free fishing day obviously helps with the time limit, but one thing's for sure, this one's not gonna be easy. We'll find somebody to go with you on the streets. I'll try to find somebody to help me with the boat. Like be five minutes away from each other. So let's find a boat launch and a place where we're gonna get traffic of random people. Have you ever caught a fish? I have. We got one hour to get somebody who's never fished before in the bass boat to catch a fish. Have you caught a fish before or gone fishing? No. I figured. Oh well. You just go up to the gas station, right on 8th Street. All right, and then we'll go from the waterworks then. Yeah. We're filming a show called Erie Extreme, mm -hmm. and we're doing a challenge. And the challenge is we're gonna find somebody that Erie that has never caught a fish, and we're gonna take them out and have you catch your first fish in one hour. Have you caught a fish? I have before. You. you have? All right. We could run out of clock before we even get somebody to say Good. Yes. I wanna do it the hard way. Let's do that. How about these ladies in the car? Because we're splitting I, up. I disagree. Because we're splitting up. That'll make it real hard. I disagree. Because the catching leash. the fish part's going to be easy. Really? Yes. I if I have someone... an hour to practice and try to figure out where there's a fish, it'll be easy. I've got a question for you. We're filming a fishing show called Erie Extreme. If somebody who's never fished before. I told her we can take her and her friend that's in the car driving with her and she's going to see. You, you can't? Is it okay right. to use your, your footage on TV? No, Don't use it? Okay. We're striking out. This is not good. All right, thanks. We're doing I it the hard way. I sat on a boat with a camera aimed at you. We're doing it you. the hard way. Do you know how long I've aimed the camera at you where you have not caught a fish? Say bye. Bye. So far, we've spent 10 minutes. We have struck out every single time. Yeah, I know. Um, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought it was. Uh, you guys take care. All right, All right take, take care. care. Have a great day. Excuse me, sir. We're filming a fishing show called Erie Extreme, and we have a challenge to find someone in Erie who has not caught a fish, take them out on a boat, and catch a fish within an hour. Would, would you be, have you ever caught a fish? Yeah. Oh, uh, man. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. They've never caught a fish? We'll get you a fish within one hour. So I'm pulling the country fair, and uh, this guy comes up next to my car, asks if I've ever caught a fish before. We'll launch right okay. off, right off of the bayfront. I said that I hadn't. Are, yeah. are, you, are you game? 
Let me get that in Monster and I'll think about it. All right. When I left the house today, I was just planning on getting some caffeine. Uh, hadn't really planned what I was going to do for the rest of the day. I'll call Dave. We have a maybe. Uh, we've been going at it for 13 minutes. So, so that we, cuts it down to whatever that is, less an hour. I'm going to just head back to the dock, I think, right now, because I did find the place I think we can catch one quick. But that's man, I don't know how that's much, a good so idea, because we're not going to have a lot of time, so you might as well be at the dock. All right, just let me know. It's really rough out here. It's going to take me a while to get to the dock. How fast does that boat go? <laughs> <laughs> we're good there. All right. Nice. All right, we'll be in touch. Bye. Roxanne's in. All right. Very good. It's kind of creepy looking, but it's okay. No. That's going to get taken out in post-production, right? Yeah, I don't know. No, they'll leave no, it in. No, they'll probably leave that in. They'll leave it in. All right. Um, we got to call Dave. Okay. Call him. So then I get in the car with these three strangers, and I guess I'm going fishing. <laughs> call him. What's the name of the show? Which Eerie, gonna Eerie Extreme. Go on the, uh, Google EerieExtreme.com. It'll come up. We have a YouTube channel. Hey, Laura. We got a guppy. Really? Yeah, we do. People. Just one. Just one, and she's okay. ri I, uh, she's riding with us too. So. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll see you at the dock. All right. Over and out. Bye. Over and under. Let's go. It's go time. I wonder who I'm fishing with. I was in the Navy for four years, and I never caught a fish. The clock's ticking. We're gonna have about a half hour. Not much time, but truthfully, more than I expected. I'm, at the, I'm actually hanging onto the dock right now. Would you sign with 13 hands? Yeah. Absolutely. I yeah. love watching you fish. Thank you. Sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Dave the Hi, how are you? Right. What's your name? Like a song. So I meet Dave at the boat. We don't really have time to get acquainted. All right. Where are you from here? No, I'm here for school. Oh, really? I'm at Where at? Hearst. Which one? Mercyhurst. Awesome. What are you going to do? I'm studying intelligence, but I really don't know what I'm going to do yet. Ooh, the government I got could one use more you. Year to go. I'd be happy to help them. <laughs> That's cool. I've never been that, this close to that thing. Well, Will they shoot us? Good morning. So we head out over the bay, and the water's pretty rough because the, the wind's up, and it's honestly a lot of fun. I, I miss going fast over the water. Roxanne's really cool. Seems like we got the right person. Now it's my turn, and I'm starting to feel the pressure. Season two of Eerie Extreme is presented by Marquette Savings Bank. Fast Signs, We Create, The Avonia Tavern, FishingOnline.com, Bentley Tree Care, East End Angler, Palmero Toyota, The Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and by Visit Erie. They're actually spawning right now. They make little beds. If you stand up here, come up here, you can actually see them. There's one right there. But see that hole right there in the weeds? Yeah. That's a bed. Okay. There should be like a bunch of them right here. I don't know why there's none. You don't strike me as the kind of girl that likes pink. Not really. You know what this is? A lure? You know what this is? A lion? The yellow thing? Oh, uh, a bob. <laughs> <laughs> a bob. I don't... Oh, we got us a real green one. <laughs> uh, it's a bobber. Okay. <laughs> Put your finger on the line and open it. So now you, you have... You know, it, it's free. That's how you can cast. Okay. But for what we're doing here, you don't even hardly need to cast. All you got to do is try to get that right there. Okay. 30 minutes. So we got we okay. got plenty of time. Oh, I mean, that's okay, now maybe you might, too far. <laughs> yeah. Now you might be able to reel it. See these little holes? Like try to reel it in if without. Yeah, just reel it. Now get get your line tight. Boy, that landed in. Oh, did you see that fish eat your, a, a fish just came up and bit her bobber. There's two blue, I can see two of them in this hole if you can get it in there. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. It took me a while to get a hang of the, the casting and reeling routine, but once I got a hang of it. We will not fail. It felt like a matter of time before I would catch something good. We're known to fail challenges. Can you see yourself getting addicted to this? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Plan B, we're gonna go somewhere else. Where? I have no idea. The wind is confining us to a really small area of the bay. Figure it out as we go. Yeah, just... Take two. There's a lot of 
a lot of bluegills and sunfish spawning right here, but the wind's making it too hard to get in the right spot. So right up next to the trees? Yeah. Get the wind better? Okay, you're gonna like this better. Um, your first fish is waiting for you. You can cast better than most people who have never fished before, so I should probably get further away. It'd be easier for you. Okay, that's good. Now come over this way. Okay. Reel it right over top of that. See the hole? Yeah. I'm impressed. You know, Roxanne is catching on quick. Reel it fast. Get it through that grab. Okay, right there. Probably drop it over that hole. How much time wasn't... do we got? 20 minutes. Throw it. Throw it down this way. Like, just throw it straight down this way. I think it, the, the weed might be just attached to it. So he didn't like it? You well, think... I, I think maybe... I, I sense a tip coming on. <laughs> you know well, enough you gotta, yet? You gotta clean off the seaweed before you cast again. <laughs> she had, did you hear that? <laughs> Thanks for that. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a fish? You got one. You got I one. I got one? Okay, do that. Whoa, just leave it there. Watch your bobber. I would throw it out again and yeah, do that it's again. Like you see that just little fish? Sniffing, yeah. You don't want that to be your first one. How much time we got? It's only this long. We need a bigger 18 one. 18 minutes. That's a big one right there. I'd like to catch that one. Don't worry about hooking anybody, seriously. It's not a big deal. That's pretty darn good. Leave it sit there for just one second. Okay. I should, I, I know what I should do, but I'm not doing it. How much time do we got? Okay, so we're gonna just try this for one more second and then we'll try something different. There are some fish here, but I'm starting to spin out a little. Now, I'm anticipating you hooking this fish. Okay. And it's gonna get crazy. We're all gonna be all screaming right. and jumping up and down and okay. weird stuff might happen and we might even hug each other. That would okay. be weird. Though. Sounds good. <laughs> Throw toward those lily pads. And when, when you hook that sucker, oh my gosh, that's so perfect. Okay, leave it there. Get ready, get ready. Watch the bobber. Go, 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 jerk it, jerk it. Jerk it, you got him, you got him. Oh, he got him. Oh. Okay, so that's why I wanted to talk about this. Okay. How much time do we got? Did you see how big it was? Did you see the fish? I didn't see it, yeah. No. I got the bite though. It seems like the, the fish are just looking at the bait and not interested. What's your favorite kind of fish? To eat? No. <laughs> like... You don't oh. eat your friends, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Bass are our friends. What's your favorite kind of fish? Trout. No. Let's try that again. What's a trout? Bass? Yeah. <laughs> Ready? What's your favorite kind of fish? Bass, of course. But that's what I think. I think you're lying. <laughs> well, it just so happens. There's a bass right over there. Oh, what do you know? You should okay. get on catching okay, that one right away. Here's the, cap the, here's the second part of the operation. Yeah, okay, you don't want to be gentle, okay? Mm -hmm. Forget about you got a pink rod. You got to do this. Like, and, and I mean, okay. like, don't worry about trying to, you're not going to break anything. I mean, this isn't as hard as the Navy. Really, right? Yeah. Did you know she was in the Navy? Okay, we got 10 Time. minutes. So what's going to happen, you, you got to set the hook, that's what that's called. Mm -hmm. The rod's going to bend, and you need to reel as fast as you can. Okay. So the reason that fish got off is because the rod was bent for a second, and then as soon as you like let loose, if it goes straight like this and there's no tension anymore, he's going to get off. Okay. So literally, and then when he gets to the boat, I'm not really sure. There's going to be chaos again. We'll just go from there. We'll sounds figure it good. Out. Boy, that sounds so easy, doesn't it? So you got 10 minutes to make the perfect cast. Uh. <laughs> as soon as you do. No pressure. Perfect. Okay, reel it real quick. Try to get it over this way. Come over here. Come over here. There, right there, right there, right there. Let it sit, let it sit. I see let him. Do you see the fish? Yeah, I see him now. He's looking at it. Oh, <gasps> that was a fish. I she had that, a fish. I thought I, that was just seaweed. I know, I didn't know. What is going on? Time check. Eight minutes. Oh yeah, reel it quick. Reel it quick. Right on that. Stop before you get to the hole. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right there, right there, right there. Okay, now get ready. Remember what I told you. When when he bites it, just leave it sit right there. When he bites it, don't worry about hurting. You're not gonna hurt me if you hit me with the rod. I don't okay. care what you have to do. Why would he leave? Maybe he's trying to make it dramatic. So catch it just in the Maybe. last two minutes. Okay, so he's gonna wait till it's six more minutes. Yeah. You ever see great big ones just swim up right next yeah. to the boat? Yeah. 
Didn't you see those ones that just swam by the boat? I didn't actually. Those were, look at, there's one right there. See that catfish? Yeah. With the whiskers? I didn't realize there were catfish this far north. Yeah. I'm from Louisiana originally, so catfish all over the place. We went catfishing the last two days. <laughs> Guess how many we caught? Zero. Zero. Oh. <laughs> so should we be aiming elsewhere? Let me cruise down through here. Five minutes is not much time. That's less than five casts. Yeah, if you do that just a little bit further, I think you'll catch that one. It's panic time. Getting closer. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming, he's going for it. He's going for it. Ah. No, do it again. You gotta get in just a little bit further. This fish like is just the sitting show. there. I don't wanna go too close to him or we'll scare him. It has no idea we're here. If Roxanne can get the bait close to it, uh, do that again. I keep, You're getting better, you'll get keep it. Keep missing Am the I in your fish way? spot. Uh, yeah, can you go to the other side? Yeah. Yes, Anything, ma'am. Well, I mean, that's you get just a little kind bit of closer. my biggest hang-up with See fishing that... is thinking I'm going to hook somebody. So. No, don't. you can hook people all day long. Ah, shit. There is a fish over there. Wait, wait, leave it there, leave it, leave it. No, go, 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 jerk it. Yeah. Fish. <laughs> in the boat, in the boat. Yeah. Oh, God, boy, is that a pretty nice. one. Perseverance paid off and I finally got one. That was like one minute left. Are you kidding? No. Right at the buzzer. One minute under the wire. <laughs> it's only as dramatic as Look at how pretty that is. Make what kind of fish one. is that? Oh, the it's a pumpkin. The colors are beautiful. Oh. Pumpkin feet? <laughs> <laughs> so the first fish I ever caught was a pumpkin seed. They're pretty, aren't they? Yeah. Did you want to kiss it first? Nope. <laughs> cool. Good Thank you so much. High five. Good job. Happy to break my 30-year record of not catching fish with such a pretty one. But you know what? We're not going to, I don't want to stop there. We beat the challenge <laughs> easily. Yeah, we're going to just try to catch a bass. Is that OK? Right, Do you sure. have time? Yeah. OK. I have time. Let's, let's catch a real fish. I'm going to cruise around here and just look for a bass real quick. Look at that fish swimming right there. See it? Yeah. Oh, geez. This is <laughs> a big one. Yeah, I'll trade you. So we got that over with. Now there's no pressure. Got to get Roxanne a bass. <sighs> let's just pretend like this is a fish. You want to okay. hold it? <laughs> Can take here. a picture with the seaweed. Take a picture of that. <laughs> That's your first piece of Eurasian milfoil. Woohoo! Look. Nice. Look at that one. Those, those are big. That's a big one. Yeah. That's a bluegill. That's different than the one you caught. Look. Squirt gun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Isn't that gross? Yeah. A little Usually, bit. <laughs> I don't know you well enough. Usually, I squirt the person I'm fishing with. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, now just keep it tight. You're going to feel them bite it. <gasps> go, go. You, did you, you got him? Yeah, yep, go, yep, go, yep. go, go. It's a big one. Yep. Oh, my Fish. gosh. It's a bass. I caught a big one. Don't you lose it. <laughs> Don't lose it. Wow. OK, wait. Let him fight. Let him fight for a minute. Like tire himself out? Yeah, just let him play for a second. Don't get off. You got to talk to him. Roxanne's hooked into a smallmouth, and pound for pound, they fight harder than any other fish. Come here, bass. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Look at that. That's a nice one. You're going to have to hold this one. Now, this is something <laughs> seriously to be proud of. What, what kind of bass did you get there? I have no idea. Looks like a smallmouth bass. Ooh. Is that what that is? And away he goes. Cool. When we catch one like that, we do belly flops. Ready? Yeah, we do. Ready? You first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to fishing with people that are dumber than me. Hey, in the Navy, you have to get smart real quick or you'll do some really dumb stuff. <laughs> Thanks for uh, doing it. I appreciate My it. My pleasure. Fun now fun. I know that I know kind of how to fish. <laughs> or a natural. You can catch them now. So I've got the, a good basis for learning more. <laughs> I'm 30 years old. I hadn't caught a fish before but I can guarantee it's not gonna be another 30 before I catch another. That's a big rock, so watch over here. Like, I wanna see that, I wanna go back and fish that rock so we could turn around and idle right over it. So would, why would it be good to fish over a rock? Ah, uh, fish like to hide by stuff. Oh, okay, well like, so now, <laughs> Especially when it's sunny, they'll be like, you can actually, on this unit, you can tell which way the sun's shining. So you can see the rock is right here. Yeah. And then the shade 
is right there, so those fish would be in the shade behind it. All right. Kind of crazy. So when I was in the Navy, my uh, my display looked more like this with the map, and then we'd have a uh, radar overlay like this, just right on top, and we'd be plotting where the, the ships are in our area so that we knew that people were around us and who it was. As you probably know, we've had our share of miserable challenge experiences, which makes days like this even more special. Fishing is so much fun, so keep your eyes open for future free fishing days on pafishingboat.com. And always remember, the gift of a fishing license lasts for an entire year, and it's the perfect gift for someone who's tough to buy for. Overall, I had a really good time, and it's not really something that I had thought about doing before, but now that I know what I'm doing, I'm a lot more interested in it. You never know who you're gonna meet at Country Fair. <laughs> Turned out to be a great caffeine run. <laughs>